Hi, I'm Sheila. Uh, welcome to the first video of Indivisible Disability. I want this to be a space and um, maybe the launching of a support group. Um, in case you haven't guessed, uh, this is a combination of the words indivisible and disability. And um, I wanted it to be a, a consciously a play on words um, for a safe space for people with all kinds of disabilities, those that are um, from birth or those that are later onset, those that are official and classified, those that are unofficial and that people are still struggling to have defined. Um, and, and in the case of me, uh, those that are sometimes visible, I've got um, my tape, um, my crutches that I'm using now sometimes, sometimes other orthotics or braces, and those that are invisible, because I know a lot of people who have those as well. And I, I think that it's important to talk about um, but most importantly, I want this to be a community because I've seen a lot of people talk about individualism um, lately. I've seen a lot of posts about individualism, and I know that there can be a phys philosophical divide uh, amongst people about pulling oneself up by one's bootstraps, about being strong, about being um, tough and uh, independent and all of those kinds of things. Um, now, I really believe in empowerment. I really believe firmly in self-determination. And I believe that people should be independent when they want to be independent, when that's, when that's what, they, what they want. Um, but I think that as a society and, um, just as a world that people, that we need each other to survive. Um, it, it's, it's never been more clear to me, um, than it is now that um, I've always been a very independent person. I live alone. I um, am very reticent to ask for help, but I know that some of it has to do with culture. And I think that it's, um, you know, sometimes independence is good and it's healthy and sometimes for me, at least, it has been harmful. And there are times when that rugged individualism has really hurt me and has harmed me. And there are times when I waited too long to ask for help and to ask for people to help me. Um, or, you know, times when maybe I did ask for help, but um, people, haven't always come and that can make it hard to that interaction but I think that I think that we need a community so you know this is for people of all walks of life and um, also welcome for allies for people who care um, for people who who want to be helpful who want to learn um, you know I know that sometimes, you know, there's that saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Um, and I know why that saying exists. Because I know that sometimes people uh, have very good intentions and they really want to fix things. They really want to uh, say, well, why don't you just? Um, and I'm a firm believer that there aren't very many statements, if any that are good that start with, why don't you just? Um, maybe there are, maybe you can leave that in the comments, but uh, I, 
I think that very few problems are solved that way, especially when it comes to disability. But um, I, I think that those who are open to listening, learning, who want to become allies, I, I think that um, I think that we're such a diverse group of people. Um, just a little bit about me. I um, I'm 38 years old. I um, first, well, I've had problems since I was a child, and a lot of my problems are genetic. But um, what I like to say is, for all intents and purposes, I didn't have these genetic disorders until I was diagnosed, because that's how I was seen, and that's how I was treated. I was seen as a perfectly healthy, normal human being who just happen to have a bunch of injuries and chronic problems and maybe um, was a hypochondriac or something because um, they couldn't find out why they had these problems. Um, but I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I was diagnosed in 2014 with that. Um, I have congenital sucrase isomaltase deficiency, and um, I was kind of diagnosed. I was diagnosed with part of that as, um, as an infant, but it was a misdiagnosis because at that time they thought it was an intolerance and they thought that people grew out of it, but now they know it's genetic and that people don't. Um, so I didn't find out until this year that I have that. And it's changed a lot of things for me to know. I have um, anaphylaxis a lot, and uh, I am pretty sure that it's mast cell activation disorder. And there's a great expert on it from New York who explains how it works in ehlers danlos Syndrome, but I can't get doctors here where I live to do that kind of diagnostic testing. And so that's unfortunate. Um, and I have um, migraines and a few other issues, um, but, you know, it's all led to um, me having a disability and not being able now to work full time and also having some issues with um, being able to uh, do some of the things that I love doing, and I would love that to change, but I don't know if it will or not, and it's a challenge. It's always a challenge, um, but one of the things that gives me meaning is to run some support groups, so um, I run some support groups on regenerative medicine, um, including prolotherapy, platelet-rich plasma, and on stem cell and things like that, and um, I like to uh, do support groups from both sides, from both the researcher slash um, doctor slash healthcare professional side of things, and then support groups that are protected for patients so that patients can candidly have discussions about doctors and stuff like that, um, because I think that that's important. Um, and then I'm also involved highly with some support groups related to Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome but um, also some general disability stuff too. And I think it's all important. And I love to be part of the community and I'm trying to continue to be part of the community, part of the healthcare community, um, talking with a lot of community leaders, trying to make things better around me. And I hope to be able to continue to do that until I can't any longer. So that's me in a nutshell. That's the group in a nutshell. The video in a nutshell. I hope that people will comment and are welcome here. Thanks for watching.